Exhibit 9, Herring. Herring is used as a recreational drug for its euphoric effects. Medically, it is used in several countries to relieve pain. Herring is mainly injected, usually into the vein. However, it can also be smoked, snorted, or inhaled. The onset effects is usually repeat and lasts for a few hours. The dependence, physical and psychological, very high. Addiction, infinite. Consumption, intravenous inhalation by mouth, intranasal, rectal, intramuscular, subcutaneous, intrathecal. Reduce life expectant expectancy by 10 years. Can be fatal in the powders. Cat with washing powder, sugar, salt, or other substances. One shot can last up to five hours. 49 minutes. Killing doesn't miss the line. Poison is just as efficient and relatively painless. Fifty minutes. Poison can consist of cyanide, chloride, mercury, bleach. The stuff is easily available and Everyone is the next predator to be. You need a deep vision to sneak through. There are a million parallel universes within this universe. You need a map to navigate throughout. Fifty-one minutes. Weaponry. Axe, knife, gun, bomb, dynamite. A soldier is a killer. A blind and unknowingly sadistic one. He can drop bombs over an entire city and all the motherfuckers underneath die a long, agonizing death. A soldier always gets away with it. And he gets paid for it. It's a sure way to kill someone from a distance. It's vengeful. In my case, the other side tortured me, and he was not alone. My whole life was... You can't fight someone with the same weapon.
53 minutes. Slaughtering. Torture is exciting. It's sexual, in a way. There's always an incessant need to release the compulsion. Pushing the victim's eye on the inside. Dismembering his body parts. Hear the Charlie from hell screaming his head off whilst you're doing it. See the fucker bleeding and bleeding until he dries out. Fifty-four minutes. Torture can lead to cannibalism. I can eat a piece of shit. I only eat my meat cooked. I want him to suffer and to die. And get away. I've just heard. Some dental surgeons have discovered why snoring can often be deadly. It can actually cause damage to the arteries. When persons with sleep apnea fall asleep, their tongue falls back into their throat, blocking the airway. As they struggle for breath, their blood pressure soars. Dr. Long John, an oral surgeon who worked in the study, said in a statement. 